we ready? Okay, great. Well, Marcus, a fantastic round. I mean, two birdies to finish with, and that wind was so swirly out there. Yeah, it, uh, yeah the last two birdies were nice. It, uh, it made a great birdie on 17. There's a great pitch in there to about six, seven feet and hit a good part. And then something about this 18th hole at the moment, it's uh, holding another bomb on 18 to uh, finish off the week. At the moment, you're laying um, equal second place and the leaders have four holes to go. So, I mean, anything can happen from here, can't it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, anything's possible. But at the end of the day, you've got Jeff Ogilvy and Ian Poulter up there in front of you. So, I mean, those guys are too good to, to mess it up. But, um, you know, they're, I mean, they're world-class players, so they're, uh, they're not going to do anything silly. And I think those two will fight it out right to the end. OK. Questions, ladies and gentlemen? Martin. Marcus, how do you shoot 64 in conditions like that? Did you have any particular way that you tackled it or did you knock your shots down? or what? what how yeah, not really. I mean, I, I, I mean, it was brutal out there towards the end. I think we got lucky the first four or five holes. We didn't have, have a lot of breeze. And then it just slowly kicked up throughout the day and it's pretty strong now, obviously. But, um, yeah, I think towards the end playing a lot of knockdown shots and just just all about where you're trying to pitch the ball and you know try and judge how far it's going to roll out and what the wind is actually doing. So, but uh, I mean, I hit a lot of good shots this week, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm very happy with the way I played. And it would have been nice to hold a few extra putts at the start of the week, but um, I think I uh, got my fair share today. Mark, Marcus, aside from the uh, week with your feet up on the couch last week, that's three in a row, really good scoring against the world's best, isn't it? Like, yeah, for sure. Must be confident that it's coming together yeah for sure I mean my last I think two months of golf has been as good a golf I've played I think throughout my career I think I've had about four top tens and an 11th finish in the last couple of months so to play like that um, you know it's very rewarding I've done a lot of work with my coach Dennis McDade and you know it, it uh, you know it's just turned right around and you know, I'm pretty excited about getting stuck into 2012 now it's been uh, it's been a nice finish to the year golf wise Brent. I was going to say, obviously, you have a bit of a break now. How, how do you make sure you keep that momentum going? I guess. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, you know, have a couple of weeks off where I won't touch the clubs and just put them away and enjoy Christmas with the family and, um, you know, I'll just get away from golf altogether and then uh, we'll start up again and and go and see Dennis and and keep working on things that we've been working on in the last few weeks or the last couple of months. So, it, um, you know, that'll probably be the first, second week of January, so it, um, just going to enjoy the time off now. Mark? So two personal things, mate. One, your neck? Yeah. Yeah, neck, yeah, I think as I said to you, the, the PGA, it's, you know, I played a lot of golf at the end of the year and it stood up great, so I mean, I've got, uh, you know, some, I've got lucky to have really good people around me to, that uh, helped me get through it and um, gave me the great advice, so it, uh, you know, it's very, very nice that it's, uh, to be playing golf without any pain, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. And don't want to harp, but um, you've had a rough week. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, lost one of my best mates this week, so it was, uh, it's pretty gut-wrenching. And, you know, it's, as I said to the guys before, if, um, you know, if everyone in this world was like Jace Richards, we'd have a pretty wonderful place. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, for the life of me, I just can't work it out that how someone like that can be taken away from us. And, but that's life, I suppose. And, you know, I just got to try and be there for, for Charlotte, Olivia and Sienna and like all, like all uh, the Richards family and, and all their friends, they'll, they'll look after them for, uh, for the rest of their lives and, you know, we're just, you know, it's just someone like Jace is a pretty unique and special person. Everything he did, he, he did it, you know, as hard and fast as he could. It, uh, he played golf as much as he possibly could. He, he raced, he's probably one of the, if not the best V8 supercar driver, you know, at it going round and you know it's just yeah I mean I, when I heard the news on uh, on Friday I just you know I just felt sick and you know I just straight away thought of, of Charlotte and the girls and you know it's just yeah it's just not fair simple as that. Next. Marcus congratulations on today what's next on the agenda for you so if you've got a Christmas break and then back into it in New Year? Yeah, um, yeah, a couple of weeks off, and then uh, start up with a bit of practice. I think first or second week of January, and head uh, head off to the Middle East uh, last week of January. So it, um, I think four tournaments in, the, in a row as of about the 25th or 26th of January. So it, um, yeah, looking forward to that, and you know, just got to work pretty hard after have a nice break and, and get going again. Brent, when you sit down over sort of Christmas period and you, and you reflect on this year, you know, obviously with the neck and what you've done the last month, and you mentioned Jason. How do you how do you think 
you'll reflect on, on the whole, the 12 months and everything you've been through and it all. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think the positives I'll take out of the end of the year, I think try and write down everything I did well for the, the last couple of months this year. I think it's obviously, it's worked really well for me and, um, you know, I'm lucky, as I said before, a great team of people around me. I've got uh, Julian Gomez, Dennis McDade, Tina Mayo and Pat Farrell that uh, helped me in all areas of, of my game and, you know, they, you know, the, they do just as much work as what I do. So, it, um, you know, when you walk out on the golf course, you're a team with those guys and, you know, just lucky to have good help around me. Mark? What sort of danger are you of leaving a pretty serious divot in the couch in the next couple of weeks? I reckon it's even money. It, uh, I'll uh, probably, my wife will probably be out shopping for a new one after about two weeks. I'll worn this one out. So, and this one's pretty new too. So, it, uh, But, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I just can't wait to spend some time with the kids. Um, Archie's almost three now, so he understands all about Santa and uh, what Santa's going to bring him. So it, uh, he's, he's excited for Christmas, which gets me excited for Christmas. So it, um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. We'll go back to mum and dad's in Corowa and then we'll go down to, to Rye for a week and uh, just get away from golf and just have just nothing but family time. So it'll be, uh, it'll be good fun. OK, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations, Marcus. Thanks, that was great. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well so, thank you.